Sing it loud, ladies. Tim. Yeah, mate. And Joel. I'm here. We're we really doing this. We are. Hey, the big day's only just begun. I'm kind of into it. As far as career highlights, <laughs> this is the day. This is Kate, Tim and Joel's warm-up. Guys, we're doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome to Monday afternoon here for another week. Kate Ritchie's present. Yes. Uh, Joel Creasy present. Present, hello. But you are, I'm just trying to work it out. Let me try and work it out before you tell me how many Ks okay. you are away from me right now. Uh, mm-hmm. Me and Kate Ritchie. Yeah, are you doing a quick I'm calculation? Like, yeah, I'm trying, but my what's happened to my Google Maps? I don't think I could possibly be further away from you in no. Australia. No, can you ask Google? Can you oh, yeah. say how far from? Oh, yeah, good idea. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. How far from Sydney to Kununurra? Did I say it right? Sydney yeah, is 4,137 kilometres away from Kununurra by car. <laughs> wow, that's a long trip. <laughs> yes. I've never driven um, over 4,000 k's before. No, it's, it's pretty amazing up here. Um, I'm filming something exciting for um, Tourism WA, yes. uh, heading home tonight. But, oh gosh, I've had quite the weekend, I've got to tell you. Yeah. You haven't stopped. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to get home, but it's been amazing. The people here are um, gorgeous. They could have warned me um, to not pack exclusively white shoes because um, they're now well, That is your red. act. Well, all that, that red, is, yeah, that all that brand. red dirt over there. Look at this. Hang on. And up there. No, hang on. If you wrecked your shoes. I mean, not, what have you done? Not your Balenciagas. Yes. Why are you are wearing them up there? You can't. You've got to dress. No. no hang but on, I don't own stuff. anything else. You've got to, well, you can buy some Dunlop volleys as it came up what, there, I'm even sure. a Blunston. Yeah, what is, you, you've got to dress for the surrounds. You can't dress like Joel Creasy everywhere. <laughs> I know. Well, you know I'm, I'm, I like to stay on brand as much as yeah, possible. Yeah, we have done that. I've actually just mucked it up, though, because one of my favourite country songs is actually Kunnamulla. Oh, oh, I, I heard you. <laughs> Which is in Queensland. Oh, yeah, frantically trying to find that. It's the wrong side of the country. But, 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 uh, but it's, it's same, a good vibe, uh, doesn't same it? Same alley. And your shirt gives off the same vibe. Well, I am a bit country today. Yeah, isn't Lee Kernigan the one that gave you the Akubra? He did. I took it back. Oh, Because right. it was too small for my massive head. It's funny, we've had, <laughs> had Joel on screen that whole break, and now we're on air and we've lost him. I know. Oh, I'm still on. I just can't see you anymore. Oh, cool. I'm not going anywhere. Is there a song about your Kananara? Kananara. I get so nervous. Oh, I don't know. I'm in, the Kim- I'm in the Kimberley. Is there something Kimberley? I um, would imagine there are many. Kimberley Cooper? Kimberley, Kim, Kim, Kim Clysters, my favourite tennis player. Very good recall there. Kimberley Cooper, was she the blonde Australian actress that was in that sur- that surf show that I loved, Paradise Home Beach? Away. No, Home oh. and Away. Yeah, she she played gypsy. gypsy. No, I know who you're talking oh. about. Kimberley. Who was in Paradise oh, Beach? Isla Fisher's friend. 13, 2014, give us a call. Kimberley. Um, oh. 13, 2014, if you know Paradise Beach. Yeah. No, What's Joseph. Really confusing? Joseph. Gorgeous. Yeah, not What's the Kimberly confusing about Cooper this screen? Yes. Swapping over is now. I can. I'm, I'm only getting myself, and it's incredibly distracting. Oh no! You got good light up there. You, oh, could, you love that. Yeah. What's oh, What's the weather it's like? What's the, What's the temp in Kununurra? It's 36 degrees. Oh no, thanks. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking forward to flying back to Melbourne's <laughs> coldest day of the year. Yeah, all right. Good. Uh, well, oh, you're here. Fun. We are here. Uh, we got TGI merch packs, hundred bucks cash to give away. Thanks to our friends at Medibank as well. We'll do that today. If you like, if you watched Paradise Beach, just get on the phone anyway. You're getting the running for the 10K. Kate, Tim and Joel. My enemy. It's Imagine Dragons. It's your mum's favourite. I know. My mum announced the other night over a curry that she loves Imagine Dragons. So we had that blaring in the background. <laughs> just the one over single, though? Oh, I think no, she no, no, the she had the whole album on. One. Thunder yeah, she likes the- and the lightning. <laughs> lightning yeah, and the thunder. Like, yeah. It's simple, easy to remember. I think that's why she likes it. Not too many lyrics. It's a bit like, you know, it's it's rock and roll for people who don't love rock and roll. Like the Black Eyed Peas is hip-hop for people who don't like hip-hop. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... It's, it's, yeah. it's vague. Where are they from? Uh, Imagine Dragons. Are you serious? <laughs> How do you not know that? You don't know, oh, obviously. Yeah. Can, oh, I'm going to say Canada. I'm going to say... Oh, wrong again, the, guys. I'm say the Where are they? Uh, the States. <laughs> oh, that's good. What's um, that broad, oh, okay, I'll get specific if you want. California. Okay. Are they European? No, they're Las, they're Las Vegas. They're like where the killers are from. 
Oh, I was close. Oh. The States. <laughs> the States. The United States. I've been watching Hacks. I'm feeling very Americanized. Oh, I haven't. I'm not caught up. I've, I've watched the first three episodes of the new season. I've not caught up. Because someone oh, recommended oh, like- me that awful show on Apple. Which um, one? Ugh, Severance. Which one? Oh, I haven't seen that. Uh, well, when are you do- is it? It's six episodes in, one hour episodes that go for so long. And what what is it about? It's about when you can separate your um, work and your social life, I guess, from each other. And you like you put your security mm-hmm. card in at the end of the day, and then you don't remember anything or something. I'm like, is oh it my drama? God, it's, it's kind of a bit sci fi. Oh, is it okay. sci fi? No, it's kind of not sci fi. It's just a little bit next worldy. I would like that, though, to separate my social <laughs> life and my and my and my work life because they often blend into one. And yeah, I like that. They do say it's important, up, but yeah, no, I, just I like end up that. Having black is at three a.m. <laughs> That's right. What's wrong with that? Why would you want to separate that? <laughs> Everything's so oh grey. <laughs> no, if only there was a card to get me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, if only we wore our lanyards more, like they do in the show. Oh yeah, or other radio shows do. Mm. Yeah, cool. Um, you work. It's May 30, and I'm a bit sad, actually. I know why you're going to say this. Because it's our second last day of this. Nova. Nova's 10K a day in May. Oh, my God. 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 10K a day in May. A guaranteed 10K winner. Are you serious? Every weekday. Yeah, got another one today after five, and then our last one tomorrow after five. So two left. And you just have to get on the air with us, download the Nova Play, get on air all through the day. You can do that tomorrow as well. Kate, hello. How many times have you jumped on? Uh, I try any time I'm in the car, taking the kids to school or picking them up from school. My kids are absolutely fanatic for calling Nova. Yeah. Yeah, Good on you. Thanks, kids. My kids are. Three kids. Yeah, three kids. Have you you got on air before in the last 30 days? No, we haven't. Oh, we did actually. We took our Grudel puppies into um, breakfast radio in Brisbane. Oh, um, because, did you? Yeah. So we were on air, but I don't think that counted. No, yeah, okay. I, I can't I'm hear confused. any of that. Can you? Can you not hear her? No. Oh, really? Oh, no, I can hear her, but I can't understand it. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Cameron, oh. let's go let's, let's go with you. Let's see how the second call of our, <laughs> our, our day goes. Hello, man. How are you going? You're good, bro. Um, 10K, what would you do with it if you won today after five? Oh, well, we're looking at houses at the moment, so that'd go down to, uh, towards a good deposit. Yeah. Yes. In what nice. city What city are you calling us from? Uh, from Melbourne, right. uh, eastern suburb. That you get, that you get, 10K, get with, 10K would get you like a front gate or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah gorgeous door <laughs> handle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Good luck. Oof. Um, tough room today. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, bloody kind of hour, mate. I know, no, not up. you. This is the warm up at our. It is. Huh? We're Come all warming on. up. Sandra, last one here for this one. What are you? What are you going to oh, do with your ten k? Yay! yay. <laughs> what would I do? I would uh, take a few friends on a holiday, a weekend away. I think. Oh, we love that answer. That's, That's a, a good answer. answer. Good stuff. Couples Maybe the Kimberley, or just the girls? Oh, oh, Kimberley's, just the yes. Girls. Just the girls. Being around a winery for sure. Oh, okay. well, what's your flight time to Kununurra, Joe, Creasy? It's like, it's like th- I've got to fly to Perth. So, so I'm actually, I'm going to chuff off early today, just FYI, because I need to make this flight because there's only one a day. Yeah. So I'll be leaving around 5.30. Okay, that's all right. There's plenty to do yeah, before. if the, the bosses are listening. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll Thanks, right. cheers. We can do that. Cheers, mate. Um, how do I intro this next song? Um, Koshi? What's wrong with the world, mama? People even <laughs> like they ain't got no, no mama. Is that? I think the whole world's addicted to the drama. Only attracted to the things that'll bring you trauma. Have a go, Mel. Overseas, yeah, we try to stop terrorism, but... But we still got still terrorists favorite. here living in a land down under. Are we going to listen to Grand Canyon? Yes. Bigots Great. and the people who plunder. If you only have love for your own race, well, then you only leave space to discriminate. And to discriminate only generates hate. And when you hate, well, then you're bound to get our right. Yeah. Nat? That this is why you demonstrate through your words, your actions, and the way you translate. Listen up, you gotta have love just to set it straight. Take control of your mind and meditate. Let your soul gravitate to the love. Oh, love it. I think Nat's from Barbara, isn't she? Another way she ambassador. Mm. She's another way ambassador, another personality. This is for you, Sunrise. <laughs> What's wrong with the world, mama? Kate, Tim, and Joel. It's Gail, ABC. As we warm you up today, happy Monday afternoon, guys. You know, every call today gets 100 bucks. Bang! From Medibank in your Sweet. skyrocket. Done.
You get a few flu shots with that. Yeah. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you know you're into getting them for free. They're free now. Uh, not, <laughs> yet. Some. not yet. Oh. Uh, from heavy metal, a medication. What? From heavy metal, from heavy metal meditation <laughs> to spontaneous dancing and cosplay. There are so many ways you can live better. Search Medibank. Live better to find yours. Here on wow. Nova. Wow. Nail that. Maybe you need some medi- meditation. Well, maybe. Oh, a delivery like that. It's maybe because I, I spent 20 bucks on my own flu shot. No. Uh, stop teasing <laughs> me. <laughs> Do you know what is the... <laughs> That's all right. You can wait for the free ones. Um, Having yeah. normal conversations in this studio it does not work. Well, I've just heard the saddest no. thing ever. From me? It's not the saddest thing yeah, ever. It's, well, it's right. well, okay. In that case, the saddest thing I've heard today. If we're going to play oh, that don't. Game. That's my line that you've you've just repurposed and shot back at me well, over the next. Do you know what I'm going to say? The yes, saddest thing I I've do. heard all day today? I do. Well, what is what is that? You're going to say that the, <laughs> the saddest thing that you have heard all day today, possibly all year or all, all week, yeah. but for purposes of this, is that they are making a biopic of Robbie Williams' life yep. and Robbie Williams is playing himself. Isn't the whole point of a biopic so you can get someone like Brad Pitt to play you? Like you, 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 don't, you don't act in, in it. You don't act in your own biopic. What name someone who's well, acted? In, uh, name someone else who's acted in their own. Are we saying biopic or biopic? I think it's. Uh, biopic. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what to say. I sometimes. Yeah, I sort of toggle between the two. But I. I mean, I guess if you're toggle, I mean, you're such can a game. You better than yourself. No, but <laughs> I'm, I don't think I'm, that, I'm a big. I'm on Twitch. I think that if you have someone else play you, you can somehow distance yourself from the story and say, "Well, that's not really me. That's a version of me." Yeah. I think if it's oh, you, you may as well do an interview with Parkinson. Oh, good oh, reference. Wow, what a reference. <laughs> no, Joy Behar's here. <laughs> That's my you reference. Know, just, just Johnny Carson. Get Johnny Carson on the line. Because <laughs> I, I would have loved to have been interviewed by Parker. Well, you can but still with us. No, yeah, but I missed the boat. Why? Well, he's got plenty of stuff you'd ask you. Yeah. Well, he would ask you all about Annie these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's she really like? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When the camera stopped rolling, she's got to pipe down that thing. Uh, now, um, okay, how a like, good one. Howard Stern played himself in Private Parts. That's a great biopic. I love that movie. Go and see that. Yeah, oh, but was it okay, only so a cameo? Right, it wasn't, it wasn't about him. No, he played oh. himself in his own biopic. Yeah, he, he, the whole movie. Like mm, that, but that Meryl, makes it like better than Meryl. Yeah, but I don't uh, Meryl, think you Meryl. want no. So no, your, no, yours is easy. Reba McIntyre will play you. Do you know who would play me? Hey, the premiere. No. Me? You know who's playing me? Yeah. Uh, no, seriously, though. Kate Middleton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's playing me. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah, okay. That is, <laughs> you are ridiculous. Because she's going to be busy. You know, she'll have a bit of downtime. You know and she'll who, be like, well, you, you know, know what I'm going to do? It? Megan Markle. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> who would want her, though? Um, and to toss mm. up, Bill Granger could probably play you. <laughs> but an old, older you, like you in the future. Oh, they'd no, have, I always have get to go that. around to the um, and Josh, primary schools and then Josh to find Thomas someone. can be the younger you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Josh is older than me in real life. Well, and Bob, you, hey, you'll hey, be played by Diane Keaton <laughs> <laughs> with that hair. Not Harry, don't say Harry Styles. It's a movie, do. though. We can put makeup no. on Josh to make him appear younger than you, but I think that would be a good suit because he's great on no, film. No, the one I always get is that, that guy <laughs> from um, Glee, Chris Colfer. People... Oh, you always remind me of that guy from Glee. Yeah. Like, what? Because he's gay as well. Is <laughs> yeah, that what I reminds guess. you? We don't look remotely alike. Do all gay you. people look the same? Oh, well, hang they on. They do to that, some you people. Can't say that. Asking. <laughs> Last week you were saying that gay, gay people can't even call the show. No, oh, that's what you did say. <laughs> that was yeah. great. Oh yeah, we, did we end up isolating that because that's hectic? <laughs> don't call it, you gay. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was how- echoing you. That guy looks nothing like you. I know, but he's very camp, and people go, "Oh, you remind me of him." He's much younger than you. I'm hearing Muhammad Ali. No, he's not. <laughs> Muhammad Ali played himself. Who? That's true. Oh. But he's like, uh, okay. Who would you like to play you? <laughs> oh, sorry. Are we, are sorry. we keeping I'm, you from something? D- no, I'm just very, it's very dusty. Oh, hang on. Did you not pay for your flu shot either? either? <laughs> <laughs> you waiting for the free one? Kate, Tim, and Joel on Nova. I'm going to give Medibank some more credit here because I mucked it up before, and that's on me. Me too. Right. As you should. Do it properly, yeah. Blackers. Okay, 100 bucks cash from Medibank for all our callers today. 
from heavy metal meditation to spontaneous dancing and cosplay, there are so many ways you can live better. Search Medibank. Live better to find yours. Can I ask you Much a question? Better. Yes. Is it heavy metal meditation or heavy metal, comma, meditation? No. Two separate things. Heavy metal meditation. Oh, wow. Roop. That's full on. Roop. <laughs> no, I, but I need to be clear because I want to learn. I want to get into the meditation thing, but I've never heavy really... Heavy metal meditation, though? Well, maybe not that variety. No, you can, mm, I meditate rap meditation. Meditation. the tunes. Of course you do. I'm a bit of a absolutely Nova Jams kind of meditator. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, yeah. I don't like silence, as you know. No, no. You don't like your own no. company. I do like no. my own company for short bursts. <laughs> yeah, 20 yeah, short minutes. Bursts, then you get 20 minutes. Yeah, a bit of shower, a bit of shower time with me. Yep, had enough now. Let's yeah, go. That's right. Who, who's around? Who wants to chat? <laughs> <laughs> who's up? It's 3 a.m. <laughs> um, have you got anything stuffed at home? Um, 13, 24, oh. 10, any kind of taxidermy? Because I've heard a rumour, I've never had it confirmed, but that Scotty Cam's dog, Rosie, is um, stuffed, whatever the polite word oh. is, and at, at his family home. If Scotty Cam's listening, by all means, jump on yeah, the phone. Yeah, give us a call. So, well-loved pet, do you mean? Well, and then passed away. Yeah. And then we, yeah. I did have some taxidermy for a while. Did you really? Did you? When I... I um, don't refer to Limmer Granger as taxidermy. Oh Just my God. <laughs> I mean, I've been stuffed before. Yes, I know. Good feed Oof. at um, Yum Margaritaville oh, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't eat at Margaritaville, mate. No, I know. No. Um, like little animals, like little ducks or birds. I've had stuffed birds and things. Yeah, like real, they were real in at a, one stage. In a glass box. And they, when I bought a house, it came in the house. And then when I sold the house, it left with the house. Did okay. you buy a museum? No. Uh, Did you buy Mona? <laughs> I miss them, actually, but I've never been into them before, but I kind of get them now. Yeah, you should get whoever presented you with the uh, the gold Logie stuff. <laughs> yeah, who was that? I think it was Bert Newton. Bert Obviously, Newton. he's resting oh. somewhere. Else, Lisa uh, McCune, yeah. I won too. Did Lisa McCune oh, um, give you like the that. second one? Yes, and then the silvers, some guy from one of those don't American... Don't worry about those, they don't matter. <laughs> no, nah, boy. No, silver, I could get a silver. Oh, could you? <laughs> yeah, I could. Oh, I won't hold my breath. Oh, pretty easy, mate. Silver. Pretty easy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Any shows you want me to be on? <laughs> Anything happening? Okay. Uh, any little, uh, um, any new stand drama that I can get a little part on? Oh, yes. <laughs> we should do it as a threesome. Oh, don't try and crowbar your way into my acting career. I don't, I don't want to be on your resume, a, mate. A threesome with the three of us, that's hectic. Oh, God. People would pay big money for that. Who would start kissing who? That's the thing. Cause no, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Because I, I always think whoever starts kissing the other person first, the other person now is bullied into doing it. Oh, oh. Like, you were in my dream on the weekend. Oh, really? Is this something for the air? <laughs> oh, Did you wake up in a no, fluster? No. Anyway, let's move oh, that's on. Right. You were supposed to wake up in a fluster, didn't you? We no, just I about didn't. That. Yeah. Ooh, hot under the, under the collar, under the flannelette collar. Yeah, we're talking um, about taxidermy. We are. Good one. Um, oh, thanks. This is Kate. thanks for bringing yeah. it back. Getting you back on track. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kate, let's start kissing first. Confirmed. <laughs> Would you? Um, Katie, yeah, Katie right? Hardwick. How rude! Yeah. I'm would you right start here? kissing me first? Or, or to make you her wouldn't. feel comfortable? No, Kate would start kissing one of us. No, oh, she I absolutely would. would. <laughs> she she wouldn't even wait till the checks being paid at the restaurant. No, me. I wouldn't. Yeah. Are you? I know you like blokes, but don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Mama's got this one. Because you'll think you can turn him. <laughs> Yeah. You think I'm a sure thing. I'm not kissing. Oh, yeah. well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I am a sure depends thing. Depends who bought dinner. Well, yeah. exactly. Um, Katie Hardwick, this is about. She's a former mm-hmm. pole dancer, mm-hmm. um, but she's done a full 180 pivot. She quit her job and is now a full-time taxidermist. Oh, um, clever. Now she, a big pivot. Yeah, big pivot. Um, the thir- She's 38. She claims she makes $176,000 a year by selling her taxidermist mice. These are so funny. But she's still got a bit of pole dancing flair there. So she, what she's done with the taxidermy mice is yeah. they're dancing around poles and singing into a microphone. Oh, oh they're actually so brilliant. Much. The tails are amazing. Can we buy one amazing. For the yeah. yeah. Do we have? <laughs> like, we we can... need to buy three no. with names. Oh, you want a Kate, Tim, and Joel mouse? Yeah. Which one would I, I want? To, no, I'm the flying. You'd be one. the one on the floor eating sashimi. <laughs> yeah, with its arms crossed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Katie first tried her hand at taxidermy five years ago when her husband bought her a taxidermy your mouse kit 
for Christmas. Oh, that's clever. Mm. I've not seen that. A taxi down in your mouse kit. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, looking, I'll be looking out for uh, your po- around your post box in August. <laughs> your <laughs> I'll pet get you mouse. both ones. Your pet mouse. Mm. Yeah, she admitted her work is sometimes criticized, criticized with some people saying, these mice didn't die just to be immortalized as a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> the no, the mouse. mice are all purchased from the pet shop, by the yeah, way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Jared, you got something stuffed at home, do you? No, well, it's not me, Blackers, but um, it reminded me when he was talking about Scotty Cam and his yeah, yeah. and his dog. Yeah. Um, go over to my neighbour's place for dinner to watch the footy one Friday night, and in the corner, his wife had got their uh, their pet cat who had passed away a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, taxidermy stuffed, whatever, in the corner. Oh. And then even worse was it was a black cat. So here I am just freaking out. There's, oh. there's this That's black bad luck. cat sort of just standing... They're staring at us while we watch the footy. Yeah, what kind of pose is the cat in? Um, like like this, just standing, like stiff arm, <laughs> stiff arm, standing in the corner, putting its bum in your face. Oh yeah, it's a typical cat at it the was, dinner table. I don't. Uh, yeah, it was a sight to see. I don't Thanks, know how Jared. I feel about taxidermied pets. I wouldn't mind to taxidermy a few ex-boyfriends. Am I right? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.